We continue our live team coverage now with our senior reporter Phil Archer in Jasper. And Phil, a memorial service is going to be held there tonight for Bird. That's correct, and that's underway right now. Some of James Byrd's family are in Huntsville right now to witness the execution, as Sevilla just said, but others are here in Jasper in this small park named for James Byrd yeah. to meet with friends and clergy and remember the man murdered in one of the most brutal hate crimes in American history. It has been almost 20 years, but those painful memories are still fresh today. James Byrd grew up in a religious family of eight children in Jasper. He loved music and hoped to be remembered for his playing. But a chance encounter on a deserted street in June 1998 ensured he would be remembered for the terrible way he died. One of his sisters, Betty Boatner, wanted to gather with friends and family here tonight to remember and pray and help others find peace. Let the people know that oh, we're coming together as one and we're having prayer for the whole world that it was a hardship on the Bird family, but we are overcomer. So why not let the world know that we forgave them and everything is gonna be all right. They're also praying here for Bill King, who has never shown remorse or asked for forgiveness. It's important to me because I'm really praying that Bill King asked forgiveness within an hour. I spoke to Bill several times with his dad and Bill never asked forgiveness. Closure is perhaps an overused word, but tonight, James Byrd's family and friends and this small community are looking for it. James Byrd is buried in the Jasper City Cemetery, and ironically, Bill King will be brought back here to Jasper to be buried in the same cemetery, not far from it. Reporting live in Jasper, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.